Okay. Okay. As for the disconnection thing, I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, you've had some issues with your internet connectivity in the past. Maybe it's not the framework and just uh, curious quirk of you hosting. Or maybe it is the framework. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's what my character ends up saying to you guys. <laughs>
I don't know, that was done with like the token or the campaign properties themselves that for whatever reason is derailing our connections repeatedly. Yeah, let me go ahead and just restart the server. Um, so... with Java. So, uh, what exactly were you you doing in the hotel? Mostly just watching and seeing if the uh, people that uh, Truthsayer pointed out do anything. Like, if they all, like, like two of them reach for their comics at the same time or something like that. Mostly just keeping an eye on things. Generally trying not to look, you know, stand out too much. Well then, um, you uh, you don't notice any light, anything like that off the bat. That said, it's still hours before the get here. Um, is there anything else that you, uh, any of the four of you wanted to do for the next few hours while you're waiting besides, uh, just stay where you are? Uh, yeah. Um, I actually, thinking about it, I forgot that I had to take that stupid radio fre frequency scanner off the uh, fly spy, so I'll have to send up the Ken Mushi and see if he can uh, find any radio frequencies and maybe tap into, uh, I'll have to add more software onto that guy, too, to do that. I think, well, no, we have scanning on him. All right. And I'll see if, uh, I need electronic warfare, though, I think. And I'll try to see if I can get that, get into that. Any system those three might be on if they're part of the same team. So you're scanning for uh, hidden nodes or? Yeah, I'd be scanning for hidden nodes. And um, I, I, I'll take off adaptability and I'll put on, uh, I believe it's electronic warfare. If I'm not mistaken, I have to look. I mean, I have a button for them. I just don't not log in. Um, okay, the okay. server is up again. It says it's loading the campaign now for me. As soon as I loaded, an unexpected error has occurred. Click details below to see what Yeah, it's Java laying no point exception. Uh, um, this is fun. Everything else looks like it's working. I had about five blank errors when I went to close it. Too. You want to know why this is happening, Sean? You added vision blocking layers. Yes, you did. <laughs> I would be I would not be surprised if that's what caused it. Yeah, I I still can't uh, click on um the campaign set uh buttons here, uh like roll and stuff like that. Token selected on the hotel map that like Sean told you. Yeah, of I, course I, not cuz that would be uh listening comprehension, which is my weak weakest point. Where is my token? Do I need to copy and paste them down here? No. Oh, um, down there. Oh dear. He's already all of there. my all the updated macros I put into the game are. Oh dear. Yeah, sorry about that. I I reverted it. Oh yeah, I got all my matrix stuff is just. <laughs> gone. Oh oh oh, Sean. Oh, what have you done? There wasn't even an auto save of that or any. Oh dear goodness. Yeah, I, I I basically rebooted the whole thing from from start. Um,
in that case, uh, for, for, for players, if, you know, when, once you, uh, when, if you do something with your token that's pretty big, uh, what you'll want to do is actually save that token onto your computer. So if something like this happens, uh, that's what I've done with my token, you can put it back on the map and put it in a bag. <laughs> Yeah, I just I'd set all of them about uh, ten minutes before the session, so I can get around that bad me. Yeah, same sorry here. about that. I didn't even think about that. No, it's okay. Nah, it's all good. Okay, I have a recent save of my guy. It doesn't have everything that it had before, but close enough. Okay, I, is everyone seeing those rolls I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. I am. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I'm not touching Aaron's token. That is a no-no touch. Well, I don't even have a map other than the hotel one. That's only at 18 out of 69 loaded. So. Okay. Maybe it's just my connection. It shouldn't be that horrible right now. I'll have to reboot everything uh, when I get oh, when I get it uh, when done. Well then, in that case, uh, so. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, so for the next few hours while waiting for her flight to get in and, uh, her to drive over here and, uh, everyone to show up, uh, what were, was there anything you were planning on doing? I know that, uh, Cripson was going to be sending in that, uh, that fly drone, uh, behind Vice just to keep an eye on everything as well. He'd, uh, he'd have to remember the rule from scratch, though, since uh, the macros are gone. Uh, as for my character, uh, no. Uh, just, you know, continue to walk down uh, Hotel Road, look for maybe any changes in, like, uh, you know, police force or, you know, just like a sudden, like, you said this place wasn't very active on the road, so if there's a sudden burst of activity, that'd definitely be worth noting. And, uh... Make sure that I'm, you know, just like one hotel's distance, especially as, you know, get to like, as soon as the flight lands uh, from uh, the Target's hotel. And again, I'd ask like, uh, so uh, how are we doing this? Are we rolling in with the wheelman's van uh, right behind or you want to go in before or you want to wait until they're actually in their hotel room or... What? Uh, I figure we, until, until we uh, uh, know how they're going in and uh, I mean, it's hard to make a plan for every entrance, I guess. So we should probably wait till they, uh, we should try to, I don't know, maybe we should have plans set aside for each uh, eventuality, but we really can't do much until they get here. I think the, well, Vice is going to be whispering this anyways, because he's in the lobby. It would be easiest to acquire the, acquire the package when we're when they're just you know dropping it off he's trying to be subtle right now um another character is subtle good job um uh sean did you get my two rolls just wondering if it worked right yeah i got them No, no, it sounds good. Um, and uh, just, I mean, the roles were for I was sending my two uh, little mini drones, uh, uh, Ken Mushi and the Fly Spy, into the lobby with, uh, uh, and they'll just, one of the, the Ken Mushi will just find a little quarter and, and uh, hide, and the uh, Fly Spy will just find a place up in the corner and hide.
problem with waiting until everything is settled, uh, Coyote, is that we, even if we do figure out what room she's staying in, we're gonna have to get up there. And I, I suppose that wouldn't be too difficult with a simple uh, AR security they've got stationed to uh, get through the elevators or what have you. It's just they would by that time be settled in and they might be bringing extra Trusayer shrugs again. It's just a valid point. Right. Um, one thing I'm going to try, and I do need to remember what this role is, um, I'm going to try to, to, to pick up radio frequencies, especially of, like, you know, hidden nodes. You know, find hidden nodes of uh, those, uh, those folks that uh, your, your spirit self or whatever found. Okay, when uh, you find that role, go ahead and make it. Um, that said, uh, Vice notices two things. One, hanging around the back, no one seems to care that he's there. Um, even without a room or anything, no one approaches him or anything like that. This is apparently, the lobby's open and just hanging around. No one's flagging you down or kicking you out. Um, You also notice as the minutes and hours tick by that uh, most of the people there, um, they come and go. Uh, three people, no, sorry, two people do not. The uh, orc and that elf. Neither one uh, uh, goes anywhere. Um... As it nears six o'clock, uh, the orc will leave, um, but the elf will stay. And uh, I'll actually change their tokens real quick. She certainly got much chestier since the last time I saw her. <laughs> I'm still at 19 out of 70. 19 out of 70? Have you tried disconnecting from the server and reconnecting? I had to do that when it booted me out in the middle of it. I had to close the uh, uh, map tools entirely and come back on and then it, then it picked up. He suddenly got more British. That he did. Um, he's not wearing a, a British thing. Uh, just looking at him, you can't quite tell he's British except for uh, maybe listening in. The accent gives him away. Um, and at some point, you, you probably wander uh, close enough to hear them talking. Um, they are careful enough with their conversation that you cannot overhear it uh, unless you have some augmented hearing. Uh, no. Neither, uh, the only reason that they're worth noting now uh, majorly is that neither of them leaves and neither of them looks like they're waiting for someone like anyone else that doesn't leave for a while. Um, uh, the assumptions obvious. Mm -hmm. Vice will uh, relay this information to the rest of the group, saying that the elf and the orc don't really seem to don't really seem to leave. Except the orc seems to have gone away again. Do um, you want me to come in, or do you want me to start setting up surveillance? What does everyone else think? Uh, sure, I'm trying to get a read on their uh, uh, radio frequency now if they're on a wireless. I'll let you know if I find anything. 
Yeah, looking around, uh, no hidden nodes. Um, yeah, no hidden nodes as far as you can see at all anywhere here. No one's got hidden comm links or anything like that. Um, both of them do have uh, comm links set into either active or passive mode. Uh, do I detect any traffic there, or uh, need to make another roll for that? Um, I do believe that does that is also the same role or a very similar role that tells you whether or not they're having traffic uh, uh, traffic uh, to and from their comm link. Um, Yeah, I believe it's, yeah, it's a capture. Yeah, I think that's actually the role I made. And I just, yeah, it's the same thing. I'll make the same role. I think my first role was a mistake. But this one, you know, whatever. Yeah, no traffic coming in from them. At least uh, uh, nothing besides uh, some uh, what appears to just be uh, long distance stuff going uh, far out or uh, far in. Nothing like no direct link between them or anything like that. Nothing hidden seems to be going on. Um, you can uh, try to intercept her traffic to. Uh, get a get a what exactly she's saying but that may alert her because you'll actually have to access her comm link to do that because you because the the information is coming out uh, spread out through multiple nodes so you can't just swipe all of it at once you'll have to swipe it from one location and the only location that would be as far as you can see is her own comm link Uh, I'm just reading. I'm reading this uh, the uh, the website, um, and it's all right. That's signal. All right, but uh, yeah, it says okay. This is uh, it says in capture wireless signal. Uh, you eavesdrop on wireless traffic going to and from the device. You must be within the device's signal range to capture the traffic. You must succeed in electronic warfare plus snipper, but uh, the, the rating of my device substitutes for that. Um, and it, um, which, uh, which, um, which, which book is that? Uh, it's, I'm in the core book, uh, page 229, capture wireless signal. It's right under complex actions. Oh no, I guess you can uh, capture the, the signal with just being inside one comlinks range. Um, that, that's yeah, what uh, makes, like, you know, our talking, you know, potentially at risk for someone capturing it. Which is why we all are encrypting our conversations, right, guys? <laughs> Coyote could, but uh, you, <laughs> you don't have a decryptor for it, so, oh well, there wasn't enough time to set that up. Um, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and make that roll to capture it.
I've had two really good rolls. Now this last one I know is going to suck. Yeah, well, uh, then suck. Are, are, slower. are these to the GM and yourself? Uh, yeah, he told me he wanted me to do that. I can put them to everyone if you want. Yeah, no, yeah no. These, are, these ones you don't need to to put just to me and yourself. I was just wondering in case, you know, I was about to crash. Um, yeah, because you can, uh, read it. Um, it is encrypted. Uh, you have some kind of decrypt software? I do. I think okay, it's... Then okay, then I'm not going to bother ra having you roll it because decrypt software or encryption in uh, Shadowrun is really just uh, a momentary sync. Uh, encryption is much, much weaker than decryption at this point in time. So, uh, given a little while, you'll break it. Um, max would be our... Uh, going through it, it's junk, junk, junk. It is literally her just answering her emails. Um, shopping, um, things like that. Uh, nothing really at all worth anything. Um, a couple of emails you catch and it takes you a little while to, to figure it out, but nope, there's something coming in and she's uh, getting some kind of information from somewhere. Um, that said, it's uh, not in English. And I guess not in Spanish or Japanese either. Nope. Not in a language you know. You can place the language. It should be fairly easy to do. It's, uh, e I think, French? Okay, well, I call it Byron. You should still be a lot. No. Um, I'll uh, post it to everyone. I'll say, anyone understand French? Uh, this girl's getting some of these messages here. No, it's English and Spanish. No. But I'm pretty sure you could find a forum real quick where someone can translate some French for you. You can also buy translation software. Like right you now. You can do that, yeah, right on the fly. How much would that cost? I really don't know what you're saying. What's that now? It's in the gear section. Um, Lingua sauce, depend on, depending on the rating, it's rating times 500. Thank you. Sweet. Um, all right, well. So if you wanted a really good uh, French translation software, it'd probably cost you a pretty penny. Yeah. He's next to broke here. Um, <sighs> whatever, he'll buy, he'll buy a rating 1-1 one, one, then. I guess that'll get the general idea across. Um, okay, uh, buy it, and then go ahead and roll it. Then roll that one die. Alright, well, anyway, I, I'll, I'll go to on Chummer and note that I bought it later. Um, this this might be worth uh, using one of your points of edge. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't answer that question. I just bring no, it up because you have three. Yeah, what's the, uh, what is the role for that, though? Is what's it like computers plus that or something else? To, for, no, for, for like your, your Linguasoft thing, this is going in your head. You're like accessing it with a sim module. That's what you're doing. In which case, you're just rolling that one die. Yeah, oh, so yeah. Linguasoft so just acts as itself. Yeah. Linguasoft is itself. Oh, really? like, uh, That's how you got to add your ability score. I thought so, too. That's what no, I was asking. No. Uh, See, normally you would if it was a natural thing, but it's not. Right. If it was a naturally learned language, it's your, I think it's intuition added to it. 
um, but because it's a LinguaSoft, it's just a software translating it, which means it just gets the one die. N with most uh, matrix things, instead of adding ability, it's the program plus a skill. Um, that said, you don't have a, no skill applies to this. There's no nothing you can do to help the the software do anything. Also, us using while using a skill soft, you may not boost it with edge. Oh, does it does it actually say that? Yeah, after it's the line after the second so, paragraph on Skillsoft. So, yeah, that's the limitation I remember on Skillsofts. There we go. Let's say when a skill test is called for, the character may use the Skillsoft rating in place of an appropriate skill. I I, I guess then that's uh. Oh, well then maybe you can roll your intuition. You yeah. Piece together from what it garbles out what it actually is supposed to mean. Okay, so so I would roll intuition plus one then, I guess. 